Do you have questions when you receive a student's IEP at a glance or 504 at a glance? We hope this video helps to clarify any misconceptions and ultimately boost your confidence to appropriately accommodate your students' needs. The definition of an accommodation is allowing a student to complete the same tasks as their typical peers, but with some variation in time, format, setting, and or presentation. The purpose of an accommodation is to provide a student with equal access to learning and an equal opportunity to show what they know and what they can do without changing the instructional level, content, or performance criteria. The definition of a modification is a change in what the students are expected to learn based on their individual abilities. Unlike accommodations, which do not change the instructional level, content, or performance criteria, modifications do alter one or more of those elements on a given assignment. Remember, an IEP is a legally binding document. Therefore, accommodations and modifications are not at the teacher's discretion or only if a student asks. If they are listed on the IEP, they must be offered. You can do more than what is listed, but you cannot do less than what is listed. Here are some things that we do not want to do when accommodating and modifying assignments for students on 504 plans and IEPs. Because we want students learning and progressing, we do not ever want the teachers to exempt a student from completing any assignments over the concept if other students in the class are required to complete assignments. We don't want teachers to accept blank work. This does not show us anything other than that they didn't do it. We have no idea if the student is just having a bad day, if they truly don't understand, or if they were just being difficult that day. We also wouldn't want to increase a grade from a 50% to a 90% without justification or clarification that the student understands the tested over concepts. This might mean having a conversation with the student about the work that they have turned in to see if they can verbalize the information rather than write it on paper, showing that they understand the concept. Finally, we don't want to throw out all unanswered or incorrect questions. The concepts that they are expected to demonstrate knowledge of is necessary, and many times those concepts build on one another. If you throw out unanswered or incorrect questions, then their grade becomes skewed and we don't have a depiction of how they are doing in the class. If they are needing additional support, it is hard to prove if they have an A in that class because grading has been modified for this student. 